Hi, welcome to the G2 Gallery Podcast. I'm Jared, and today we're talking to one of our artists, Rebecca Jackrell. How are you, Rebecca? Pretty good. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Um, so, I want to start off by talking about a, your Ethiopian Wolf Project. Um, where did the, what were the origins of this? Well, I do a lot of uh, donating images to different organizations around the, the San Francisco Bay Area, and one of the volunteers uh, the Marine Mammal Center saw uh, an opportunity to go to Ethiopia and view the area where the wolves live with the premier scientist, and so I jumped on the opportunity. And while I was there, I recognized that there was an opportunity there was the ability to go and create images that haven't been overly seen in the world. Uh, the Ethiopian wolf is pretty well known in London basically because of Claudio Solero, who's the premier researcher, uh, but not so much in the rest of the world. So um, I decided to team up with another photographer from London, and we went back out and for about a month um, camped in the Ethiopian highlands to kind of create uh, an intimate portrait of the wolves' lives during pupping season. So this project definitely opened you up to conservation? Yes, I, I had a interest in conservation work and, and I've worked with other organizations like the San Francisco Bay Bird Observatory mm -hmm. and uh, the Marine Mammal Center, but nothing this large scale yeah. where it's all focused toward fundraising for this particular species. And what's going on with this species? What what? What's their so, story? There are a lot of different threats that they're facing right now. Uh, everything from global climate change, uh, limiting their habitat, to some persecution, uh, road kills, um, things like that. But the biggest threat that they're facing today is disease from domestic dogs, and that's rabies and canine distemper virus. Mm -hmm. uh, they lost about 70% of the population in one year because of a rabies outbreak. Wow. Um, so what the conservation organization is trying to do right now is get vaccinations into the wolves themselves. And you have done a lot of, re like you've, have you known a lot about the Ethiopian wolves? Have you been interested in it like before this project came about or? No, uh, before February of last year, uh, I knew nothing about them. So yeah. it was uh, eye opening. Anytime I get a chance to work with a researcher, I'm thrilled and, and I dive right in. Uh, so I did a lot of research once I, I found out about them. Uh, did you, I mean, what's something that you've learned about them? I mean, cause you have to have a personal connection to them now, obviously spending mm -hmm. so much time with them. But what was sort of the, uh, was there ever like a, piece of information or some, some character trait about the wolves that hooked you into them? I think their social structure is what really hooked me. Um, every single member of the pack pitches in to take care of the pups. Um, they have very, very strong bonds. Mm -hmm. When you watch a juvenile uh, come back to the pack, uh, the, the ears down and the full body wiggle, if you imagine your golden retriever when yeah. he's happy to see you come home, uh, it's that same enthusiasm and it's every single time they meet. There's never a moment where they just kind of look at each other and go, eh, whatever, it's you. It's always that, that raw enthusiasm and that joy. So what did you start off photographing? When you were, did you start photographing when you were a kid? Or? Well, um, my brother is about five years older than I am, and mm -hmm. he had a dark room, so I would follow him everywhere. Yeah. And it would hold dandelions for him to, to photograph, and, and it would help him mix the chemicals. And so it really was a bit of a passion. And my mom's an artist, so I had that background. She dragged me around to different museums. And, yeah. Um, so that was always in the, the back of my mind. And when I came time to get a real job, I went into teaching and, and did some other things, but nothing ever quite fit right. Um, mm -hmm. And about 10 or 11 years ago, uh, my husband bought me a DSLR and oh. it reignited that passion uh, and my passion for wildlife. We went on a trip up to Alaska and I yeah. took what I thought were the most amazing photos ever. And I won't show them to anybody now because they're horrible. Oh, they're horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. But so wildlife has always been a, a big passion and focus for me. Well, thank you so much for coming in and doing the interview with me. Um, Thanks of course, for having me. Yes, of course. And check out uh, Rebecca's Ethiopian Wolf Project and support the wolves.
Please do. All right, this is Jared from the G2 Gallery Podcast. We want more podcasts coming to you. Thank you.